Welcome to Let's Talk Porsche. I'm Joe, And I'm Ashley. And we're here today to show off an absolutely phenomenal car, which we're very lucky to have in our showroom. That is the... 911 Dakar. Woo! So the Dakar is based on the 992 chassis. We first saw the Dakar debuted in 2022. It's a sports car, true Porsche 911, but it's at home off-road as much as it is on the road. It was limited to just 2,500 examples. This one here is actually number 431, and it was designed to celebrate the first overall victory of Porsche at the Paris uh, to Dakar rally in 1984. Uh, this celebrated the first all-wheel drive Porsche uh, 911. So not only is it four-wheel drive to help it deal with rugged off-road terrain, it rides 50 mil higher than a standard 911. Not only that, they come with a lift system as standard, which means it will lift a further 30 mil to increase the ground clearance. So to help with those rough terrains, you're also going to get as standard, the Pirelli Scorpion All-Terrain Plus tyres. These have got a 9 mil tread depth pattern and reinforced sidewalls as well. You do have the option, if you'd like, to change those to the Pirelli P0 summer and winter tyres as well, which have been specifically designed for the Dakar. So performance-wise, these are based off a GTS, so 992 GTS, so they have the 3-litre flat-six twin-turbo engine, producing 480 PS, so they're not slow by any means. Not to 60 is less than 3.5 seconds. They do have a slightly different top speed, though, due to the tyres of 240 kilometres an hour. They only come in the automatic, so the PDK gearbox, which is absolutely fabulous. So this particular Dakar has a two-tone paint finish, which is a mix of the white and the gentian blue metallic. These red and gold stripes are then placed by hand in Zuffenhausen. It also has a Rough Roads logo on, which mimics the original sponsor logo from the Paris Dakar Rally back, way back in 1984. You can see you can then customise it that little bit further as well with choosing your own bespoke number. This could be anywhere from zero to 999. So there's a couple of options regarding roof transportation. So this one has the roof rack, which is a signature piece for the Dakar. The nicest feature with this is that it has a built-in LED light bar. The car comes with a plug in the roof with a rubber grommet. So it's designed, if you want to put this on, the wiring's all in place. And in the center console, in the roof of the car, there's a button to operate the, the additional lights. On top of that, you've got watering can, additional fuel, there's a shovel, there's sandboards so which you get stuck out in the desert. So there's a whole host of extras that you can opt for to go on this roof rack. The other option was to not go with that and put the roof tent on it, which is really quite cool if you want to spend a little bit more time with the 911 and sleep above it. Although this light bar does work really well. In terms of the drive itself, we've also got two new drive modes on this Dakar. So above your normal wet and sport, you also have rally and off-road. Now, rally's more designed for those loose surfaces, where it's going to give you a much more uh, rear wheel bias. Whereas your off-road is where it's going to lift you up a little bit, activate that lift. Um, and also it gives you more of a, a stiffer uh, differential lock effect. Both of these do come with the rally launch control as well, which allows wheel slippage of to 20%. So it's going to be a fun one. Yeah, a few other little bits that change on the Dakar. So we have the bonnet off of a GT3, so it's the carbon bonnet with the vents. Bumpers were slightly different, the side skirts, rear bumper, a little bit of sort of alloy protection on the bottom, there's like a scuff panel and your toe eyes. You could actually opt with these as a equipment part that we sell through our parts uh, to have like a Kevlar undertrace. If you are using it more off-road, mm. you can get a bit more protection for the bottom of the car. So that is the 992 Dakar. What a cool piece of kit. Keep your eyes peeled on our YouTube channel where we're going to do a bit more of a deep dive on some fantastic Porsche models.